Nintendo Switch 2 might be announced next month. Lexor unveils ultra low latency DDR5 6000 memory kit. Power color to launch Radeon RX 8000 Reaper GPU series. And lastly, Nvidia GeForce 5000 series of leaks are here. Okay, first up, we have a Reddit user posted this particular information, which says final Switch 2 hardware mockup and question mark of course because this is not confirmed. But this is the picture we're looking at, which is the Nintendo Switch 2. That seems like it is the case, although it seems like it's a, a render model based on the information that has been received. And there are two color variants, as you can see, one is white, another one is gray. So these are the two variants we're looking at here. One, and of course, Nintendo Switch 2 looks bigger compared to Nintendo Switch when you compare the previous gen, of course. So it's a little bit bigger. Seems like it's gonna go. They're gonna go with eight inch screen. So video cards have reported something interesting based on next handheld claims, and these are the information or specs based on Nintendo Switch 2, which is the name we're looking at. Of course, Nintendo Switch 2 release date, which is mid March 2024 five an announcement which should be january 2025 and the colors we're looking at is white gray and game themed most likely mario kart which is expected as for the joy cons we're looking at magnetic attach button release mechanism hall effect coming with two usb type c connectors an 8 inch lcd screen pricing at 399 to 499 based on guesses of course and there would be a dock rounder design might have a fan 4k 30 support so for now these are the specs for this particular model we're looking at here although this is not confirmed yet and next up we have from jd forum we have something interesting which is the lexer ddr5 6032 gigs kit right over here and this particular one is a bit dif different because it says cl26 right here exactly this is the ultra low latency model we're looking at from any memory kit maker of course of course the pricing isn't listed here so we can't really say it says 899 but it's not listed here so i guess we have to estimate that. but it should remain 899 u one as listed in the cover so as that advertisement reports is that c26 ultra low timing lower latency smooth smoother combo so it is pretty fast because c26 cl timing is pretty fast not gonna lie and also coming with 6000 mega transfers per second so should be pretty good they're also claiming multiple hardcore cooling system of course 6000 mega transfer per second cast latency of 26 so that's pretty nice and of course they're utilizing aska hynix so it should be good and this is also pretty much compatible for the 9800x 3d because i think now for 9800x 3d it should be utilizing this ultra low latency cast 26 memory kit should be giving you more performance as this is the first time we're looking at so we'll see about that next up we have something interesting power color is releasing their rx8000 series of reaper gpu series so power color is going for this particular reaper team of course which is of course they had red devil they also had like hellhound these are the series that we're looking at here which is we have the liquid devil red devil hellhound hellhound spectral red dragon fighter and now this is the newer series which is the reaper series Series, and it should be the flagship series for the rx 8000 series so power color i love their cards of course because they look cool they look you know they always go for this particular team the reddish accent of course but i, I guess you can change the color if you want to and yeah just a little heads up what we what we will we'll get from our color because the reaper series is not that bad and next up we have something pretty interesting wccf tech has some claims and this is nvidia geforce rtx 5060 ti gets 16 gigs of vram and rtx 5060 will stick with 8 gigs of memory which is kind of underwhelming because arc b580 is offering you 12 gigs so they should ramp up the 5060 vram should be 12 gigs also or at least minimum 10 gigs but nope they're gonna stick with 8 gigs of gdd 7 memory same goes for 5060 ti which is completely fine 16 gigs is expected so these are the information that we'll get from here which is that the nvidia geforce rtx 5060 ti and 5060 will utilize pg152 board SKU that will deploy gb206 gpu core and both cards will have 128 bit memory bus interface which is similar to the RTX 4060 series, no doubt about that. And of course, they're utilizing GDR7 memory, we already know that. That would be allowing up to 28 Gbps frequencies, which is allowing up to, we don't know for sure, it will be 28 Gbps or not. Probably a bit tuned, it should be tuned on, we don't know for sure, but we'll see about that. Not only that, we also had RTX 5070 Ti 
leaks which is gonna be get, getting 16 gigs of gdr7 memory also which isn't surprising at all but there is some confusion here which is that this particular ski would be utilizing 50 watts tbp but copy the 7 kimi is delivering a different scenario here which is that's why i'm not in a hurry to draw a conclusion the latest data shows 285 watts however 250 is also one of the configs so there are basically two datas available which is 285 watts and 350 watts the 5070 ti will have two skews it seems like the question is why there's two models first one is 350 tbp and the second one is 285 so definitely one is a bit lower tier so is nvidia is going to go with the same naming scheme but different tdps again confusing the consumers we'll know for sure if they release it or not but if there's two models available which is 350 watts and 285 watts then i believe nvidia will also go for that confusion name we'll see about that so for now we have these information from wcc after that there's a detailed information here you can check it out if link will be in the description you can check it out if you want and as as you can see these are the whole information so let's look into the 5060 first so obviously these information are still unknown so we have the 8 gigs of gdr7 memory 128 bit memory bus 28 gbps which is still question mark because we know for sure it's going to be attuned to match the memory speed and the power consumption so we'll see about that and the bandwidth will remain 448 gb per second tbp again unknown and the rest of our information will remain the same we, know, we don't know for sure yet as for the rtx 5060 ti we're looking at 16 gigs 128 base similar to the 8 unknown yet and this is also similar now when we look into the rtx 5070 ti there are some information that are available which is the gpu sms will be 70 a bit cut down no doubt about that so the gpu core should be 8960 and the memory they're utilizing of course according to the leaks 16 gigs per 16 gigs to your 7 memory with 256 bit memory bus 28 memory speed of course and yes the bandwidth is much higher which is 896 gb per second rated at 350 or 285 we don't know for sure and rtx 5090 and 5080 was leaked before so we don't really have to worry about that we already know it still some informations are still unavailable for now but we have to wait but it seems like rtx 5060 is gonna be a, another disappointing launch with 8 gigs of gd 7 memory because it's 8 gigs come on we have to ramp up to 8, 10 at least all right this is it for today what do you think about the rtx 5070 ti and the 5060 ti definitely 5060 will be a disappointing launch because 8 gigs of memory already seems pretty mediocre anyways have a good day like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video